Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new here today, I have for you guys a morning routine of a stay at home mom who also homeschools. This is not just intended for moms who homeschool. Just if you stay at home and you need some inspiration, this is for you. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. So starting the morning off strong by getting out of bed first things first you guys it is so hard for me to actually like get up out of the bed I could lay in the bed for like an hour so yeah that's the hardest part but once I am up out of the bed one of the first things I do is turn on my little Bluetooth galaxy light speaker here and I turn on some worship music I have really loved just including this as one of the first parts of my morning because nothing can really wake you up or make you thankful for waking up like waking up worshiping Jesus. so happy that I finally get my braces off next month because I am tired of digging in my mouth to put bands on and to take bands off but obviously a big part of my morning is you know using the morning bathroom ain't nothing like that morning bathroom break and then after that you know wash our hands and go ahead and brush our teeth and I kind of like to just like you do a quick little wipe down I don't believe I showed in this video but once I'm done like doing my makeup and brushing my teeth and things like that I do what's called a swish and swipe of the bathroom so I'll just wipe down the countertop and I'll wipe down the toilet seat once I'm completely done with everything So once our skincare is done and I do that quick little wipe down of the sink, it is time for more skincare. I meant to say washing my face, <laughs> but once that is done, I go in with my Snell Mucin 96. I will also link that down below. Pretty much everything I will link down below. Go in with my moisturizer. Go ahead and get that good and just rubbed in and moisturized in. And after skincare is done, like our actual like skincare products is done, it is time to go ahead for me to go ahead and start getting ready for the day. I do not actually use a primer. I just use my skincare as my base and it's really been working really well. My makeup lasts great. Um, I also don't have a long extensive makeup routine. It's just concealer, bronzer, cream bronzer, cream blush, and then I will set it and then I will go over with powder blush, powder bronzer, mascara, and brows and highlighter. And this whole process right here takes me about 20 to 30 minutes, 20 minutes on a good day.
so once our hair and makeup is done it's just time to go ahead and get dressed for the day i obviously was not going to do that on camera but once i'm dressed i do go ahead and i start prepping whoever's laundry it is for the day i just go ahead and get it ready since it was my laundry today all i did was go ahead and just set it out in our bedroom so that way i did not forget about it because you know sometimes i'll close that closet and bathroom door and just forget about it so i just set it out in the room while i fixed the bed and it just kind of sat there and waited for me You guys, I think I started making my bed every single morning about three years ago and I have not stopped since, which says a lot because I've been married for seven years now. So for four of those years, or four, no. Yeah, for about four, no, I don't know, three years. So for three of those years, I have, um, I was not making the bed and I realized once I did start making the bed, it made such a huge difference in my production and how I felt and it just gave me a boost of confidence to get more done throughout my day. So once the bed is made and I am ready for the day, then we venture off into other parts of the home. I turn the music up on my little Bluetooth speaker so I can hear my worship music all throughout the house. And we're gonna go ahead and start on some light daily chores. So the way that my schedule works all week is that I have set chores that I do every single day. And then I have one big chore that I do once a week. So yeah, we are starting on our everyday chores. We obviously are going to start with laundry. Once laundry is done, I head out to the main living area and these are actually the only windows that we have in the main li living area aside from the two little panels that are by our front door. So I do just go ahead and open these up. These stay open up until about 3 o'clock once it starts getting too hot outside then I close them. And this is a big part of my morning routine as well. I feel like just letting some sun in just kind of lightens the mood, lightens the air and just kind of gets you in a good mood. And once that's done, again, like I said, there's chores that I do every single day and emptying the dishwasher is one of those things. I just, it makes it so easy for you throughout the day whenever you are doing dishes. It keeps, it, it allows you to keep your sink empty. So I love to empty the dishwasher first thing in the morning and then it will allow you to kind of keep the sink. You can, instead of putting your dirty dishes into the sink, you can put them into the dishwasher. I am so sorry for being so tongue tied. And once the dishes are done, now we can go ahead and start on breakfast. Why? Because now when I'm done with breakfast, all the dirty dishes can go directly into the dishwasher. See, I told you it's such a good idea. And this morning for breakfast, I do try to feed the boys 
you know, a pretty protein packed breakfast or something with high fiber or, you know, a carb, a protein and fiber that comes from their fruits and vegetables. That is something that I try to do. Does it always look the healthiest? No, but these are actually protein pancakes that they're having this morning. And then their fiber comes from their apples and their oranges. And then, like I said, because they're pancakes, they also get their carbs. So once breakfast is done, I do head into the house and I go ahead. The, today was Tuesday. On Tuesdays, my big chore is vacuuming the whole house. If you've been here a while, you would know that. And so I do like to go ahead and throw down some of this carpet freshener. I really like the Arm & Hammer one because the main ingredient is baking soda. I think I'm going to start making my own by using baking soda and um, essential oils. I don't know. Let me know if you've tried it. But I do go around the whole house and I throw this not I don't want to say throw but I sprinkle this down so that way it can kind of do what it needs to do I feel like the carpet smells fresher when I allow it to sit there for a little bit rather than just going right in and vacuuming once I'm done but this will actually sit there for about 10 to 20 minutes So once I'm done with prepping for my big chore, I do go ahead and sit down and I do my Bible time. So I do my read and write the word that I post every month over on TikTok. I'm sorry, you guys, I've been leaving you hanging. I will get back to posting them on YouTube. It's just by the time that I remember, we're already like halfway through the month. And I don't know if you guys would still want me to post it. But yeah, so I do my read and write the word. And then I will also do a daily devotional that I did not create. It'll be like a book or... Um, some type of study of the Bible. I am currently going over Gospel Center Motherhood and it has been such an eye-opener and I was already feeling guilty for the type of mother that I am and boy do I feel even more guilty but that's okay because once you feel guilty, once you feel conviction, you can then start making the steps towards correcting those things and that's just what I'm aiming for. I just want to get better. I'm not going to sit here and wallow in my pity. I really just want to get better and that is the reason for these devotionals. I don't think I can get better without spending time with God, without seeking his word and without trying to learn how to be the type of mother or woman of God that he wants me to be. So this part of my day I, is super intentional and super scheduled into my day and it takes me about those 10 to 20 minutes that I was telling you about. It's not a lot of time. And then once my time with God is done, it is time to get into the nitty gritty things as such as my big chore. That's why I schedule in my Bible and Jesus time 
when I do because it motivates me and it gives me the mindset to do all the things that I need to do as unto the Lord and not as unto self or unto my husband or unto my kids. And I think having that mindset will really take you a long way in your walk as a stay at home mom because let me be the first to tell you I definitely feel as a stay at home mom that it's hard to see the fruits of my labors at time and so one thing that has really helped me is changing my mindset why am i doing this who am i doing this for well it's because god calls me to do this and i know that i am storing up my treasures in heaven and not here on this earth so yeah then we just get the laundry done Once all the big chores are done and we've got everything in place, it is time for me to sit down and go ahead and get school started with the kiddos. As you guys probably seen, Ethan was already doing his typing and computer lessons as I was doing my big chore. That just kind of works out for me and he's really been loving it. I tried to skip, uh, Ethan can pretty much do school on his own, so it's really the younger two that I really have to be very diligent in with helping, and so I do one at a time with them. So while Ethan's doing his math, King will be doing his work, and I'll be there by King assisting him, and then Bryson will be doing either reading lessons or math lessons on his tablet. You guys, screen time can be used for good. Don't let anyone tell you different. All right, you guys, and that wraps up my entire morning. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.